Right now, I'm currently stuck hundreds of feet below Paris, surrounded by around 6 million real skeletons, probably cursed, in the catacombs, which is one of the largest tunnel systems slash mazes, where people do rituals and where, oh yeah, I'm lost. You might be wondering how I got here. It's actually pretty simple. I found a guide to take me, paid him a handsome amount of money, and met up in Paris. 1.41 a.m. We're about to meet up with the guides, and then we're gonna enter. Like, I think it just hit me what we're doing. <laughs> So they got there and we walked to the entrance with our lights off so we wouldn't draw too much attention. And after hopping some fences and a lot of walking... The entry, as you see. Oh my gosh! So me and my friend Susie got ready by putting on our waders just so we wouldn't get wet later. Then we watched Sam be the first to enter the very dark, scary hole in the wall. Oh my gosh! And now, it was my turn. Bye forever, guys. This is step one. I might never see the sunlight again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I just can't see anything. <laughs> just like that, we were now in the catacombs and on our way to the most unexplored part, which is the bone rooms. But in order to get there, we'll have to pass through many different rooms that lead to it. And the first destination was a room called La Plage. <laughs> this is this is awesome. This is our first junction right here. This is where it could get confusing. This is where it becomes really. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you see the graffiti? This is why you can't just mark oh. a wall. Oh yeah. Because yeah. you would never be able to notice your. By the way, these two guides are basically random people that were the only two people that agreed to take me. They've been down here three times, but haven't yet made it to the end, the bone rooms, which is a little concerning. And I also have no idea if they're gonna rob me. We've passed like 20 different offshoots, and we've been in here for like five minutes. I'm actually glad my parents were short now. <laughs> there were many unexpected obstacles coming up. Dude, what the f was that? <laughs> But right now, it was a simpler one. Just a lot of water, which luckily we prepared for. This is a natural well. It's not that bad. It's, it's a, it looks worse. <laughs> and after another hour and a half, we made it to the first stop. It's just a chamber of giant rooms and offshoots. So as long as you stay in a straight line, everything's good. <laughs> It just keeps going and going. Girl dies filming through the cabin. Are you see here? Honorable way to die on it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. How are we that deep already? It doesn't even feel like we're going down much. I'm, I'm like just now starting to realize how giant these are. Wow. We've seen such a small part of it. How many people got lost down here trying to do it? How, how often do you see, have you seen people down here? One random guy that was camping like in the middle of nowhere, he just walked down. I was like, hey. And we even walked down that tunnel and there was nothing. And we're like, where the hell did he come from? He's a ghost. Look at, look at this stuff. It's like clay designs. Oh my. Oh. Aww. Look how similar we look. We couldn't mess around too much because we didn't have unlimited battery for our lights. So we continued deeper with the one and only goal of to explore the unexplored and then went on to the next room, which was definitely one of the more eerie rooms. And to get to it, the hallways were gonna get pretty tight. This part definitely sucks. So there is the crawl space coming out of that. <laughs> That's where we just entered from. <laughs> That is creepy. That is not creepy. Yeah, it's... Feet pics? It's, 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 it's... <laughs> what, what do you think the chances are that this place is cursed? Oh, I, I, I can't imagine that it wouldn't be. Just because it's maybe six, seven minutes. Yeah. We're just tossed. Tossed here, yeah. In case I didn't explain it earlier, these tunnels are filled with the skeletons of six to seven million people who died from the bubonic plague. This is because France just completely ran out of cemetery space. I've seen videos of like some people do like some like crazy shit down here like rituals and stuff oh, yeah. and right after talking about that we found this odd room with candles in it obviously this might not have been from a ritual but even knowing that there's other people down here with us still put us on edge so we kept moving past landmarks like this giant head this throne that meant we were going the right way so we should be coming up i think i have one more right and then we should hit the lantern this is oh the perfect lantern. we've made it to the the lantern room Oh my gosh! That's how deep we are? Yes. Holy, Holy sh Oh my gosh! I can't even see the top. 
it, it should be one more little crawl water spot deep and then we should be in the clear and then after that it's gonna be a surprise for everyone. Now we made it past the first four rooms, so it was just time for the final one, which was the bone rooms, and the farthest away. Right now here, we're in the lantern room, then we're gonna go up and over, and then we're gonna start getting gonna... the actual bone, bone area, room, where we start going down the staircase. I'm excited for that. Man, I feel like a true explorer right now. This is where we get to some of the, the bad crawls. Oh, my up. gloves just got filled. <laughs> This sucks. <laughs> After traveling a good amount to the lantern room, we now reached a point so deep that our guides hadn't even made it this far before. Wait, so you guys have never been even to this point? Oh, that's awesome. True uncharted territory. Like, our guides don't know. This is where it gets scary. And because they hadn't made it this far before, things started getting really confusing. There's no signs. Yeah, maybe up here? Yeah. His arrow is pointing both ways. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Okay, maybe the I might be a little bit crazy, but like getting a little bit lost and not being able to find it is like the most fun part so far. <laughs> like this is exciting. It's like where are we? And then like we're stuck under tunnels. Like who who gets to do this and maybe like die? While it was fun being lost for a little bit, it ended up being another hour after this, where we still had no idea where we were. We started laying down glow sticks so we at least knew where we came from, but we got to a point where there were so many down that we didn't really know where to go. I really think that we did do this, um... Wrong. We ended up winding here, and that's where it was very low. Then we just made a huge circle and ended up, like, where we started. We're stuck here. <laughs> This is this is a video for if I don't make it out. Stop. Wait, wait, so what's the plan now? <sighs> right now we're just completely lost. And it's been many, many hours. Stuck in the catacombs. Just as we thought we found the right way, we walked by this eerie hallway where we heard an extremely loud bang. And keep in mind, if you hit the wall, it doesn't make a sound, it's solid rock. So we had no idea what this was. That was loud. <laughs> Dude, what the f was that? That no, was loud. Was I wish I got that on, on camera. It was like a like the earth shaking. <laughs> I just don't know if we're going this way or are we any of this way. Man, those bangs we heard were concerning. That's why I said, if you wanted to come to a haunted place, this has to be a haunted location. I don't know how we got back to Rue de Halle, but that's back where we came from. So I think, let's just go back to the well. Let's find Sylvie Germain and start again. Start again, before we keep going further and further and further and further. So because we went the wrong way, we had to go back and pass by the creepy hallway where we heard the bang again. What is that? <gasps> That's, That's actually kind of terrifying. Oh, it's frightening. And the first time it was only once. It was one, and then another. The second was twice. <laughs> Gosh. How? Go back down there. That's all you gotta say. <laughs> Bang four times if someone's here. No, no, don't start with that stuff. They're, oh. Holy sh! No, no. Do you think someone needs help? I said bang four times. And, and it banged four, four times. Bang four times. Oh my holy God. sh! What the hell? I'd leave That was too yeah. freaky. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. That did it for me. Do you need help? Someone down the well. <laughs> well, that was weird. Let's, let's get it. I'm getting out of this no, hallway. I'm, I'm getting out of this hallway. After we left, we kept just getting a weird feeling that we were being followed. Hearing something behind me, and I'm like, this is bizarre. And it turned out that feeling was right. Should we just follow him? Yeah. Um, he's also lost because he's asked me if that was the exit. We never ended up seeing this dude again, so we just kept moving. I've been through so many like sewer tunnels and stuff just for fun. 
I've always wanted to go through some tunnel that's like this cool. And after wandering around for about another hour, we finally found the staircase that led down to the bone rooms. Holy sh**. The crystal staircase. I'm good. I think we finally found the way. Yeah, that looks, that looks good. We're on the right track. Yeah! And just as I thought we had made it, Ben said this. Now, yeah. down here, there's no map. Oh, I sh I warn you. It's just down below. We're at, like, the end. We're, we're in the unknown now. Let's make sure we're extremely careful here. There's, like, not much graffiti here. Oh, I know, like, beautiful. no one's been down here. See, what I didn't realize going into this is the bone rooms isn't just a few rooms here and there. It's an even larger maze of rooms full with bones that's completely unmapped. Yeah, exactly, and they were just tossed down here. Down here, because like, they didn't have cemetery they, space. They ran out of space, yeah. So as we continued deeper, we got to a small opening that we had to crawl through to get to one of the bigger bone rooms. Endless bones up here. Like, literally countless. And this just goes on for who knows how long. After taking it all in for a while, we decided to start making our way back, which is when I ended up here again. A little bit stuck, hundreds of feet under Paris, surrounded by skeletons, and yes, a little bit lost. I came here to explore the unexplored, to go on what seemed like a real life adventure, and it was. It was probably the most fun I've ever had in my life. But it all stopped very suddenly, because unlike my favorite movies, this didn't have some epic glorious ending where I found the artifact and saved the day. It was honestly just shocking. Because we will all end up like these skeletons, but it's not about being born or dying that defines your life. It's about what you decide to do in between those things that does. Who let me cook? Who let me cook? That's it. It's all thanks to Ben and Sam. Go subscribe to them. <laughs>